I'm Lavina Archers. I'm a differentiation degree practitioner and also a variable teacher. So one of the things that I want to help you with is understanding this map over here on the left hand side. You can see these um, different squares, 16 different variable groupings. And it would be supportive if you already knew at least the fundamental foundations of your human design. So living your design is the first step and a foundation analysis before moving forward. So that's the requirement in going through this material with me. And the 16 different orientations of awareness, Ra would call it um, different ways or paths of enlightenment. They are about, about our cognitive differentiation. Now, cognitive is underneath the surface. Cognition, it refers to the mental action or process of acquiring knowledge and understanding through thought, experience, and the senses, according to Wikipedia. So we're talking about your sensory capacity to be different. When we look at these different arrows, the variable groupings. So if you know your variable, go ahead and type that in to me if you would like to. I would love to know if you know your variable. Everybody familiar experimenting with your variable? Ah, there we go. All right, Nani got hers. It's P-R-L-D-R-R. -R. So in order to find it on the map, everybody find your variable on the map by going up to the top. P stands for personality. And Nani is RL, so RL and then DRR. -R. So Nani is down here. Okay. And Stacy is PRL, DRL. So Stacy's right here. And Joseph is PLL, DLR. Uh, okay. So you're right here. See how easy that is? So you can make sense of it. PLR and DRR. -R. Okay. Thank you for participating with me. So now we see that we have some people here on the mapping and we have two people that are in the blue. Okay, so the blue, what you can see at the bottom, if you look at this, the blues all have the same bottom two arrows. So now not only do you see where you're at in the mapping, but also who in the mapping of these 16 different orientations of awareness are in the same grouping as far as the life path that you've been dropped into, because that's what these bottom two arrows are about. So you can see observer and focused combination. Whereas if you were in the yellow squares, we have the observer and peripheral com com combination. There we go. And the orange is focused and observed as a combination. And the green is the observed and peripheral as a combination. So basically, it's super easy to find out what your variable stands for by just finding what the letters are from that uh, link that I gave you earlier and then finding yourself on this map. And then whoever is there with you, okay, whoever is there with you literally in that square, let's say you're a quad right over here. That is somebody that has a lot in common with you, my friend. It's like if you were to subdivide human beings, into four different types. We know the aura frequencies, right? But then underneath the surface, we have these 16 different ways, groupings of humans, how they are cognitively similar, not exactly the same, because there's still a lot going on under the surface, but this subdivides us into our orientations of awakening. So this is why, why it's so fun to do this and um, learn about this because it's like learning about your type. It's the next level of type, the orientation of awakeness. So when we look at your variable, one of the things that you want to know about this variable mapping is why, in fact, it might be so hard for some of us to follow our strategy and honor our unique authority. And that is everybody who is down here. Okay, anybody who is down here, the reason I'm highlighting this part of the graph is because if you look over here, everybody who's got a passive brain body system, this is your brain and body, okay? Your passive brain body system. When you have a passive brain body system, 
you have been homogenized from birth for seven years by how you took in life and how you took in food really dramatically. Hi, I'm right there with you. You're in good company. Here I am having a lot of challenges with the brain body system coming online. So this is where Ra would make an exception to his rule of, you know, experiment with strategy and authority for at least a year. I ask that people, if they're studying human design, at least try to dedicate for at least six months and ideally sleep alone for a year. But I don't hold you to, you know, strict rules. I wouldn't be able to tell if you were lying to me or not anyway. But with regards to coming into this, those of you down here with the passive brain body system, it's really important that you get in on this as soon as it is correct for you. Now, I personally came into this maybe a little bit too soon. I was very, very um, gung-ho about human design and I found, about, found out about it in early September of 2012, 2012. Got my first reading, got a couple of readings actually. Three different people told me about my design before I went to an actual analyst and she gave me some of the deeper layers, the first um, transformation. And all she gave me was one sentence. And from that one sentence, I extrapolated out and overzealously went all in on what I thought I was doing correctly, when in fact it was a horrendous mistake and I did damage to my body. So it's not about getting into this and going from your mind and thinking that you have to follow this in order for you to wake up. I know that's been something that's been really important to me throughout my entire life is this interest in awareness and awakening and enlightenment. And so for me, thinking I've found the gold mine for, you know, uh, moksha, enlightenment, and believing without experimenting, without following my body, my decision-making strategy, because I, I could not at the beginning. I was helpless in that locked inness, my strategic mind trying to make sense of human design and not being able to be guided correctly. In the beginning, I was incredibly poor. I'm called, I'm talking dirt poor when I first um, came into this because I took it seriously. I quit and I didn't work. I followed, I tried to follow my strategy and authority to the letter for a while, just scraping along until things changed. So when it comes to your brain body system, those of you who are passive here, one of the most important things to know is that you're very sensitive. Okay. You're very sensitive. When we look at all of these arrows, particularly from the upper left, the first transformation, it's about your conditions and circumstances for taking in food, not just food, People are food. Information is food. Life is food. So when we take in life, if we are getting overstimulated from these bottom arrows, they're very easily overstimulated. What can happen is there's an overwhelm and there's a shutting down of the cognitive potential. Okay, so this is why it's so important for you to enter into this correctly. For those of you who are up here, the quad lefts, very important that you follow your strategy and authority, just like the quad right. Very important that you follow your strategy and authority into this. And especially those of you who are a passive brain body system. And it's challenging. I know from experience, it can be very, very challenging. It's a long uphill battle at times to let go of what your mind thinks is right, wrong, good, bad, should and shouldn't, good food, bad food, healthy food, all of these things that we have as homogenized concepts that have been impressed upon us from childhood, you know, eat all your vegetables. When some people are really not designed necessarily to thrive on just vegetables, you know, so it's really, really important at this moment that you recognize I am not the authority on you. You are going to take whatever knowledge you learn from human design and experiment with it for yourself so that you don't make my mistake. 
Do not give your authority over to Ra, to me, to anybody when it comes to this information. I'm simply sharing information. I am a certified differentiation degree practitioner. I am a variable teacher. I'm a holistic analyst, but I do not have any degrees outside of that realm. So this is, again, all up to you and your authority. As far as the tools for transformation, variable, what it can do for you is that it will mitigate the conditioning, the challenges, so that you can have your body enhanced with your mind and your spirit combined into this unified experience of life, whatever it happens to be for you. Because what happens is you, if you're not operating in alignment, dysfunction in the form is really bad. It's bad for business. It's bad for relationships. It's bad for your awakening. It's just bad. It's bad news. It's seriously, seriously challenging to try and follow your strategy and authority when you've got a brain body system that is misaligned. And so when we are not operating in alignment, we are not making decisions from our decision-making strategy, what happens is it's catastrophic because everything, there's this cascading effect, everything in the body not being able to um, orient correctly and then you can't see and then you can't think in the way that you're designed to see and think. And so what happens is it's catastrophic to your well-being, your longevity, the chemistry of your body, therefore the happiness, the efficiency of your work, the effectiveness of your brain body system, and therefore your mind, your perspective gets skewed, your motivation is off track, and your bottom line suffers when you are not operating in alignment. So again, for those of you who are right brain body system, this is really important to grasp that if you've been having trouble and you're not thinking clearly, your cognitive differentiation has suffered because the body is not aligned to its, my mind wants to say vehicular capacity. And I know that's really odd uh, way of languaging it when you're not familiar with the way that Ra talks about human design and the body. The body is the life. The body is the vehicle. The vehicle that we as passenger witness consciousness ride around on. And when you are not operating in alignment, you are slowly or quickly, depending on your design, working yourself into an early death if you're not aligned, if you're not on path, if you're not on purpose. The primary reason though you would wanna do this is not just a healthy bottom line or a highly functioning brain body system or longevity and all that. It really is about discovering the enhancement of your differentiated potential, your uniqueness. And the uniqueness that we talk about when we come to these arrows is coming from the tone, tonal cognition, tone, which is represented right here. Okay, tone is under the color, which is under the line, which informs how the gate operates. Okay, so the gate, then line, underneath the surface, the color, underneath the color, the tone, and underneath the tone, the base. The base is the entry frequency of the neutrino into the crystal of consciousness. The tonal architecture is what is inside, inherently unique to each of you. Each crystal is utterly unique. Your personality construct is completely, utterly new. And the only thing that is unique to you, life after life after life, 64,000 somewhat lives, incarnations that you have lived, each of us, approximately, according to Ra. Every single life that you've lived, you've always incarnated on the conscious personality, same base, okay? Same entry frequency, but inside in the tonal architecture of the crystal of consciousness, that is where we find our uniqueness. And this is where the arrows come from. Okay. So when we go to enhancing our cognition, I'm not talking about fluffy, frilly, you know, something that you can't grasp. These are actual real life sensory capacities. And when you have your real life sensory capacity online, all of a sudden what happens is you have something unique to offer to others because you are connected in with the source of what is inherently true and unique about you. And what can happen then is that we get an alignment of our purpose because when your tonal frequency is aligned, what happens is the magnetic monopole can hold your body and your mind together 
in the illusion of this being separate from the totality, this life experience that we live. And the alignment of purpose feels freeing, it feels like freedom, it feels like joy, it feels like wonderment, it feels like awe, it feels like passion and abundance and romance, it feels like mm, fulfillment. And the fulfillment inside is going to feel unique to each of you, different for each of you, but the spirit is the same. The spirit of the essence of the awakening of the projector, success, sweet success. The spirit of the essence of the awakening of the generator, satisfaction. The spirit of the essence of the awakening of the manifester is peace. And the spirit of the success of the awakening of the reflector is surprise. Now, all of those words, they speak to the nature of your spirit, flowering, blossoming, blooming from within. And when you align to that higher sense of knowing and purpose, life isn't necessarily easy, my friends. It just feels different. I'm a feeling cognition. So you might feel in my voice when I speak with the passion and the aliveness that lives inside of me, breathes the essence of my spirit out into the world. And I want that for each of you. My whole desire is to contribute the purpose of what human design can offer you, and that is unique cognition, seeing. The whole game is about seeing, 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 especially for us as uh, projectors. So when you are aligned with your path and purpose, now your life is perfectly financed. You have profit that is conducive to you achieving the success that you were born for, the satisfaction that you were born for, the peace that you are here to establish in the world, or the surprise and the delight of mm, open to the awe and wonderment of what life is like. So that's why to learn this, as far as my personal take on things. Now, Ra has lots of materials out there. I'm going to reference those when, uh, if you take the course with me, there's a lot of uh, free materials that are organized into some of the course uh, areas so that you can also go and watch that. But at the end, I'll share with you if, if right now is not a right time for you to join this group, um, if it's too much money for you, which I absolutely understand, there's a lot of resources I'm going to link to you, give to you after this, okay, so that you are mm, supported at least in beginning your experiment. So there's videos on Jovian Archive, jovianarchive.com, if you'd like to go and listen from the horse's mouth, so to speak, the messenger's mouth, the original messenger.